What's that, Brian? Oh, you were just kidding. Oh, I know you were. I love you too, Brian. And you love me. You do love me, Brian. Hey, Brian. Oh, Meg, hey. Hey, listen, I hope you're feeling all right about our little talk the other day. You know, about us being just friends and all. Oh, yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. And, hey, look, I, I want to thank you for being so great to me. So, I baked your pie. Oh, wow. Hey, that looks delicious. Mmm, oh, this is good. What's in there? Well, there's some apples and some cinnamon and my hair. What? My hair is in the pie, Brian. And now it's inside of you. Part of me is inside of you, Brian. Do you feel me, Brian? Do you feel me inside of you? Ooh, you got some pie, huh? Can I have a piece? Uh, sure. Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're eating hair! <laughs> Yeah, well, the thing is, Meg is becoming a little enamored with me, and I'm kind of losing control of the situation. Oh, she's just grateful you took her to the dance. Well, uh, I think it's more than that. Uh, so here's the thing, and don't get mad, and, and that part I can't stress enough. That's a great shirt, by the way. Um, I may have made out with Meg. <laughs> okay, I had that coming. What the hell is wrong with you, you sick? Look, I was drinking. Oh, what a shock. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Look, the short version is, this morning she made me eat her hair pie. <laughs> no, it's not what you think. Stewie had some, too. <laughs> Stop punching me! Look, Brian, I don't know what the hell happened between you two, but you better go upstairs and straighten it out right now. Ah, oh, this is even worse than when you ate that bubblegum out of the garbage. Brian, did you get into the garbage last night? Uh, no. Why? Don't lie to me, Brian. I'm not lying. Uh, Meg, you got a minute? What the hell? I made that for you, Brian. Meg! Look, you obviously didn't hear me yesterday, so I'll explain it again. And here to assist me is headmaster of the New York School for the Hard of Hearing, Mr. Garrett Morris. Meg, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. I won't be ignored, Brian. Ooh, I like your ass. I'm really having a great time tonight, Brian. God, I can't believe you went to all this trouble. Well, you know me. Oh, I do, Brian. I know you so well. So, are you ready? For what? For the fun we're gonna have, Brian. We're gonna have fun tonight. Good, old, fashioned, all American fun. Listen, Meg, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you here. I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable. Oh, just relax. We're gonna be here for a while. Well, I don't know if you... Wait, what? We're gonna be here for a while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. Brian, you're acting weird. Oh, come on. That one doesn't even have an H in it. Don't move, dirtbag. Holy crap. What the hell is this? Brian, she's a teenager. Yeah, Brian, you're doing the same thing that Mia Farrow did to that Chinaman that Woody Allen brought home from the circus. Peter, hold on to that thought, because I'm going to explain to you when we get home all the things that are wrong with that statement. But first, Meg, you need to let Brian go. But, Mom, I love him. Honey, you're just confused. I'm not confused. I've never been more certain about anything in my life. I need him. Meg, I know that's what you think right now, but you're n Oh, God, I wish I could make you understand. You don't know what you need. I know what she needs. You do? You bet. Bring her by my house around 8.30 tonight.